In this video, we're going to talk about the X33 drone with camera. Um, it's a relatively inexpensive hobby drone. Um, comes in its own nice little carrying case. And we're going to go over the procedure to safely launch and land this thing. So how to fly this thing for the very first time, as well as just some of the features of the drone. So, um, the box that it comes in of course so uh, you can be sure that you've got the same unit all right let's just get right to the drone itself so here again it comes in this nice carrying case and I'll take the drone out and uh, we will just uh, set it up for the first time so we uh, move these this is the front of the drone with the camera and the white light bar and this is the back where the battery goes. And so we're just going to deploy the front wings first. They click into place and then the bottom or the back wings. All right, so uh, now the drone is in its uh, flight configuration. Once again, this is the front. It comes with a nice HD camera and it's controllable from this controller. Uh, the camera can be pitched up and down, not left and right from the controller, but it can be pitched up and down. So to go left and right, you just rotate the drone. And to pitch the camera up and down, you can use the controller. Let me show you that. There are these buttons on the controller with icons. And uh, rotating the camera up and rotating the camera down, pitching up and pitching down, basically. And then to take photographs, you hit this button here. This is the this is the configuration of the controller when you're using it. So the control sticks are, are up, and then these other buttons, which we'll talk about, are down. Uh, to take photographs, you hit this button here. Click it once, it'll take a still image. And click it and hold it for a few seconds, and it will start to take video. And then to stop the video, you would do the same thing. Click it and hold it for a few seconds. Um, so in talking about the procedure to actually fly this thing, let's just go over what I've done. I've modified this um, controller by putting the procedure on a little piece of paper and then uh, taping it to the controller. So basically six steps to launch it, and then uh, step seven is to automatically land it. So you place the drone on a level surface, that's step one. Turn the drone power on, and that's done by um, clicking the button on the battery pack, so that's on the back of the drone. Three, you turn the controller power on, and you'll get a beep. The lights on the drone will go solid. In step two, the lights, um, you get a beep, and then there's blinking lights on the drone. Step three, once again, turn on the controller, and then it'll communicate with the drone. You'll get a beep, and the lights on the drone will go solid. Number four is horizontal calibration. You take the joysticks, and I've got this indication here. You take them, and you basically move them down, and down and in at 45 degrees. So I don't know if you can see that here. Down and in at 45 degrees, and then the... Uh, You'll get fast blinking on the drone, and then they'll go solid. That happens in just a second or two. And then step five is to start up the drone and unlock it. That's done by taking the joysticks and going down and outward at 45 degrees. So let's see. Down and outward, 45 degrees. That's shown with those little circles and lines. And then release. And the drone will actually begin to spin the props slowly so it doesn't actually fly but just to indicate that the drone is ready to fly and then to actually launch the thing just click this launch button just hit it and the drone will actually go lift itself up and go about uh i'd say four or five feet above the ground and hover and then to land you would click it again and it'll automatically slowly descend to the ground so that's the procedure for your first flight to safely get this thing off the ground Make sure you're calibrated and making sure that you're communicating the controller to the drone as it should. Uh, once you're in flight, this stick over here is to go forward, 
which is like that, backwards, which is like that. You can then um, make the drone drift left by going this way or drift right by going that way. Uh, and then this stick on this side is for up or gaining altitude that way, descending, you go this way. And then to rotate the drone, you go left and it'll rotate left like this in, in the air. And that way it'll rotate this way in the air. Um, the drone, obviously not the controller, but uh, okay. So let me put the controller down. Let's, uh, let's see, did we talk about all the buttons? These are the buttons for um, rotating the camera. And it's up and down, as you can see, the icons are indicating. And then uh, over here, this is photo and video. And this is actually to flip the vehicle. Uh, it does a little acrobatic maneuver. I haven't actually tried that one. But for the most part, you've got video, still image or video by clicking once for still, or clicking and holding for a few seconds, and it'll start recording video. And then to stop the video, click and hold it again, it'll stop the video recording. Turning on the controller is this button over here. It's just that common indicator for turning something on. Um, and then when it goes on, it'll get this right, this red indicator light. Let me just do that. There you go. So the drone's not on, so we're getting a blinking light indicating that it's not in communication with the drone. So I'll just turn that off. Turn it off by holding it down for a moment. Okay, it beeps to indicate that it's off. Okay, back to the drone itself. We have this light bar in the front, and then in the bottom, there's this uh, green light. So I think it's blue in the front, green in the back. Um, and then here's the power button for the battery. Um, when you click that, uh, you should be on the ground. You should be level and flat on the ground. So let me just do that just real quickly. So you can see you get the red light in front, blue in the back, and it's blinking quickly. If I put it down on the ground now, we'll go through some of these steps with the controller and watch what the drone does. So here we go. I'm going to turn this on so you can see the mode that it's in now. It's just flashing a couple of times per second. Turn the controller on. Now it flash, flashes very fast, and the drone goes to solid light. And the next step is to, um, okay, horizontal calibration, which is bring the control sticks inward and down to 45 degrees. So we'll do that. And there you go. We've got horizontal calibration has happened. And then we can start up the drone by going down and outward at 45 degrees. And there we go, the drone is now spinning. It's not flying, just indicating that it's ready to fly. And then if I were to push this button once, it would gain altitude. And I'm not sure I wanna do that so close to the camera, but um, I'll post another video that goes through that. And then once it's at altitude, you can um, gain altitude or descend using this button this controller and do the other maneuvers here. So it's too dangerous to do that right now. So I'm not going to do that. Um, and then to land, you can click this button once and it will descend slowly and land. So that's the um, quick review of the controller and the drone. And let me also talk about the SD card. Let me turn that off. Turning off the drone is just a matter of holding down that battery button on the back here. Hold it down and now it's off. Um, in addition on the side of the drone, there's an SD card slot right there. I do have an SD card in there. Actually I don't, well yeah I do. So um, just you press it and it comes out. It does go in to the SD card slot upside down. This is the top of the drone. So uh, just insert it and push it in. And that SD card 
will hold the video and the still images that you um, that you capture by pressing those buttons on the controller. Uh, this is the battery slot. Just take that out. You can see the pins for the battery, and then the battery pack itself has the matching pins. Let's just line those up, slide it in, push it all the way in so that it's flush, and that's that. Uh, here's the front facing camera. Once again, you can rotate the camera up and down or pitch it up and down. Um, there's no pan control, but to pan, you would just rotate the drone itself. All right. Uh, one other thing, if the controller starts beeping three times, like beep, 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 pause, beep, 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 pause, over and over and over again, that's indicating that the battery on the drone is getting weak. So it's probably time to land safely and uh, you can grab the second battery. This uh, kit nicely comes with two batteries so you can charge those two, swap it out and uh, be on your way again. All right, so that's it for now on this video. I appreciate you watching and I will post another one tomorrow when I fly this thing just showing it actually uh, doing automatic takeoff and automatic landing. Thanks for watching.